Today, I have a special visitor coming into Titan America, Jason Patterson from Mav TV. So what about your races, man? How's everything going? It's been going pretty well. We've won some races this year. The last one could have gone better, though. What happened? Led the whole race, and then uh, with five laps to go, we get a restart. The shifter breaks off in my hand. You know, if you want, I can make a shifter out of Inkano, a super alloy, and it's harder than hard. Sounds like it might be a little overkill, but hell, I'll never have the shifter hey, that's break like, again. That's like bragging rights, though, right? You know what I mean? Your whole car can fall apart, but your shifter will be intact. So here's my part right here. Now we're going to an aerospace grade Inconel. I hate working with Inconel. We got these new end mills from Imco, designed specifically for Inconel. Hopefully these new cutters will make life a lot easier. There's a lot of nickel in this material. You can't just take end mills and try to drive right through the material. It's just gonna break. The material's gonna harden on you and you're gonna be through. I've got uh, special drills. The coolant runs through them, comes out the tip of the drill to keep them nice and cool. We can just blast right through the material. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create the code that forms the program. Each line has G codes and M codes. G codes make something happen by moving the tools or the machines and the M codes turn things on and off. Like turning the coolant on is an M8, turning it off is an M9. So this is the brains that run the CNC machines. Once I get it all set up and ready to run, I'm gonna call Titan over because he's got a good ear for it. Hear that tool hitting the metal because it's the difference between breaking tools, scrapping parts, or things keep running. We're using the machine that has a gear-driven spindle. It's nice and rigid for cutting this hard material, and we're gonna see how fast we can push them without breaking them. I picked a face mill, nice and big, a three inch. It's just gonna face the top. Then I'm gonna bring that Imco Inconel rougher. I'm gonna drop down full depth so we use the whole tool and we're gonna go five to seven times faster than what's normal. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna bring a drill. There's coolant coming down through the tool, which is cooling it down as it's engaging and going down into the material. The drills are expensive, but what you gain in productivity easily pays the price. We're gonna cut this thing like it's like regular steel, even though it's ink and oil. It's just the advanced tools, the advanced machines that weren't around just a couple years ago. That's why we're changing the game right now. A lot of machine shops are running at 10 inches a minute we're taking it and running at 70 inches a minute. So that means that the runtime now comes down to here and you're able to save your customer money. You're able to make a profit on the job and get through the part without breaking any tools. I've got my tools set up for the second off. Deck this excess material off the back, cut the part to size. He's gonna zero all the tools out. We're gonna get some aluminum soft jaws into the vise. To hold the part nice and deep, perfectly on all surfaces. So when we cut the first side, we were in a three axis machine. This machine, the five axis, has two extras. The table rotates and flips up and down, which will enable us to, to flip up and do that thread. So now we're flipping it over, then we're gonna cut off the hat, and now we are flipping it up on end and making these threads right here. What's up, Jason? How are you? I got a gift for you guys, man. I like gifts. Mm. Good to see you. Good to see you. My crew chief, Steve. Hey, I'm Titan. Nice to meet you, man. Well, I got a gift for you. Yeah, right on. Awesome. Can't wait to see this thing. There it is. It's, That's beautiful. It's beautiful, man. Huh? Check this bad boy out. This part is awesome that Titan brought. We got it all assembled. I just installed the shifter on the transmission. I did just the rods to get the shifters all lined up perfect. This one is 100% ink and oil. It's all in one piece, so there's no way that these threads are gonna rip out. Now all I gotta do is put it in the car, it will slide it in through the boot, get it all bolted together, and we'll be ready to rock. 
You dust. gonna put me in that thing? Serious? This car is amazing. I don't know if I can fit in it though. And eh, we'll make it work. <sighs> like Fred Flintstone, right? Oh. You got this. There you go, see, like a glove. Oh, what's up, I did it! Oh my, I just can't even fit in this seat. Ah. <laughs> You're in. How do I get out? <laughs> Take a couple laps now. It's getting me fired up. Eking out six shift. Didn't break. Shift, didn't break. It's still right there. No more broken shift lever. Boom. <laughs> <laughs>